Hi everybody, this is Sir Pshar, back another day with another unboxing. And today's unboxing is not even a pair of shoes for me. It sort of feels weird that I'm going to show you a pair of shoes that is not for me, but it's still a cool pair of shoes and I do want them. It's just that... Okay, so first of all, my barber that is also my friend asked me like a year ago uh, about these shoes because they were released last time in 2020, I think. So he asked about them and by the same time they just happened to show up that they were going to be released again and he's not as uh, as a, oh they are nice as a sneakerhead as i am so he didn't understand that we can see pictures of shoes dropping like a year later uh, but i helped him fix them and to my big surprise they sold out um, and I don't know if, so what I want to complain about is that it seems like the retailers in Europe doesn't get basketball shoes in larger sizes than 44 and a half, which is uh, US 10. Yeah, US 10. And that's the biggest size for basketball shoes in Europe. And I mean, okay, one or two times it can happen that shoes only sells out in larger sizes. But when I've seen like five drops lately, uh, basketball shoes that haven't been available in sizes larger than just 44 and a half or even 44 uh, like foam posits the pennies the, the white ones uh, the red foam posits these yeah a couple of couple of 90s basketball shoes that have only been released in uh, size 10 as biggest but anyway they are sold out uh, and i had to get them from beeston which is in germany i think so a cool shoe, uh, absolutely, lighter than I remembered. So they released, if I remember correctly, because when I had them in eighth grade, I think, maybe ninth grade, uh, we didn't have internet. Uh, I think we might have had it in school, but we didn't look for sneakers on, on, uh, on the web then. So we had our paper. So for me, in my world, we had the Air Jordan 8, then these came, and then we have the Air Jordan 9. And these have the, the comfortable, the positive things from the Air Jordan 9. But I think that they are even slightly better here. So what I mean is the, the inner sock, uh, because if you haven't seen my videos before, I hate to tie my laces. I just want to tie them once and have it like that. Uh, so we have the inner sock. Let me show you a pair of nines. So no matter when they got released, in which order, because I do think that uh, the nines should be should been released earlier, because uh, Michael Jordan, of course, were the biggest superstar. And then we had a box, but it was the same year. So these are called uh, Nike Air Max 2 or Square uh, CB94. And Charles Barkley played in them. The CB stands for Charles Barkley. He played in them in the 93 and 94 season. So we have the inner sock, which we can see much clearer here. And we have the quick lacing. And on the CB94, the quick lacing with the rubber straps, just, just like a nine, uh, 
I just want to correct myself. Uh, I think I said wrong. So quick lacing, then Air Jordan 9 has the quick lacing and the inner sock and the 10s have the rubber bands also with the quick lacing. Uh, you can see the rubber bands on these. So um, it seems like the Charles Barkley shoes were ahead of the Air Jordans. Can that be right? Uh, you lock them. So what you do, you tighten them and then you pull them up and they will tighten inside of the plastic lock. So this is a shoe that you can wear really tight and it will stay tight. And they are comfortable to wear with the laces loose like this because of the inner sock. And then we have the big Air Max sole. Uh, that is called squared or two uh, because it is a bubble inside of the bubble. So in the heel we have an Air Max bubble and the outer part is an Air Max bubble. People think that they are called Air Max square because of the size that the whole rear is a bubble, but I don't know about that. So Tinker Hatfield made these. They got released in 93, maybe 94, uh, more or less with the Air Jordan 9. And uh, this shoe were the more stable, um, because Charles Barkley was or still is, is a big guy. And back then, or maybe always, bigger and larger and heavier than Michael Jordan. I mean, Charles Barkley in his prime, he looked, sorry to say, he looked fat even back then, but a great basketball player. I would say, because Penny Hardaway back then wasn't as a huge star, so Charles Barkley was after Michael Jordan when it came to the biggest NBA star, at least with, uh, with wearing Nikes. And those two were best friends back then, uh, Charles Barkley said just recently that he, he owes Michael Jordan a huge thanks because when he signed with Nike, he was with Michael Jordan and they signed him with $3 million. That was it. And Michael Jordan told Charles Barkley, tell them to give you $1 million and stocks instead in, in the Nike brand. And Charles Barkley still has a lot of stocks in Nike. So he has own, earned 10 times what he should have uh, back then. At least 10 times. So yeah, a cool shoe with a cool story. Um, and it is a comfortable shoe. I remember back then that it felt sort of bulky, heavy. And the funny thing is that uh, Charles Barkley, he played in a couple of Jordans. I at least know that he played in a Jordan 14. I don't know if he was with the Suns then. I think he changed the team, but never mind. And he complained, really complained, that the Jordan shoes were too heavy. And I remembered that the Barkley shoes were even heavier. And the whole Charles, Charles Barkley line of shoes is really weird because some of them are called after numbers one two three four and some of them are called after years and some of them are just a nike air force one cb so his line of shoes is kind of weird and i think that if they would have done it better from the beginning they would be a cooler retro shoe now. But but still, I am surprised that these sold out. Because as I remembered, uh, they got released maybe 2015, and then already in 2000, and now already in 2023. Uh, so they have been released a couple of times, and they have been released on a bunch of other colors. This is maybe not my favorite colorway. Uh, this is the Phoenix Suns Home. They have one white and orange that I like better. Maybe a little purple in there as well, I don't remember. 
But I'm happy that I, that I could help my friend to get the shoes. And I think that's the whole story about the shoes. Yeah, Tinker Hatfield, CB9394, played in the Call 94, Air Max Bubble. Um, kind of pricey. The price for these were from Germany, 195 euro. I think the retail price in US was 180 euro, 180 dollars. And if I remember correctly, when they were re released in 2020, it was just like 150 dollars, I think. So kind of expensive, and the leather isn't isn't even worth mentioning. Uh, it's not suede, it's numbuck, but it's a cool shoe, it's a nice shoe, it's a comfortable shoe. So yeah, I'm kind of mad that I don't have them for myself, but I'm going to get myself some pair of CB94s, uh, and uh, preferably the white ones. So why not go with me uh, and uh, give them to him? Yeah, come with me. på mycket åttan Sebastian Hellström i min parallellklass hade på sådana här och jag fick aldrig dem nu det är så kul med det att liksom man får chansen igen 2023 it's happening ja, det är ju dog som 30 år sedan det är fan vad feta. 